Hello and welcome to this brand new tutorial on how to get free animations for Unreal Engine 5 and Unreal Engine 4. These animations are going to be from a website called Mixamo. This website has many many free animations that you can actually use to prototype your game. The quality is not that great but I've learned so much with them and used them to my advantage and I actually still use them when I'm prototyping a brand new project. I would really recommend learning with this. So first we are going to be converting them from the Mixamo skeleton to the Unreal Engine 4 skeleton and then we are going to import them into Unreal Engine 5 using the Unreal Engine 4 mannequin and then we are going to convert them so that they work with the Unreal Engine 5 mannequin or skeleton and the problem with this tutorial is that converting them from Unreal Engine 4's skeleton to Unreal Engine 5 may cause some issues. I do think that they still look okay for testing and you probably won't release a trailer for your game or even the entire game with these animations because if you do it's gonna be kind of unprofessional so what I would recommend is using those animations only only for prototyping so one last thing before we start do not forget to like the video and check out the first link in the description it is a link to my upcoming games steam page so that you can go and wishlist the game and wait for it and check out the trailer and the screenshots and all of that good stuff it is a survival horror game inspired by Resident Evil, Silent Hill and all of those good classic games in the workplace of madness should be released sometime later this year so go check the link wishlist my game because i really need all the support i can get for this and let us get started so the first thing you want to do is go to google and search for mixamo converter i'm gonna leave a link in the description but in case i do forget that go to Google, check out Mixamo Converter and you should find a link to Terribly Studio. So go there, hit direct download. So what you want to do is extract it to your desktop and I would recommend using this on the desktop mostly because on the desktop there won't be any issues with the conversion process. So if it asks for your password, just go back to the website, copy the password and extract it and in the folder you've just extracted you should be seeing these folders you want to go to the folder called mannequins and go to this file and go to mixamo hit upload character and then get this mannequin fbx folder and drag it in there to mixamo and that should upload it as a character so that you can actually download the animations using it it's basically the unreal engine mannequin being prepared for the mixamo rig and i'm not sure how it works actually but it's kind of like magic so just don't ask about the details just go use it and it's amazing thank the guys who made it you know donate to them whatever and now we are going to be searching for animations as long as the Unreal Engine 4 mannequin works with Mixamo. So I want to download Idle, Walk and Run to replace the animations in the blend space that are default with Unreal Engine. So I found an idle animation but the problem with this one is that when I converted this to the Unreal Engine 5 mannequin um, I couldn't really like the hands were too close the arms were too close so maybe find one with wider arms anyway you want to download it with um without skin and just hit download and it should be downloaded next search for a walking animation basically any walking animation works i just picked them randomly because it's not really an important project for me so yeah find one hit in place download without skin and keyframe reduction should also be none and then we are going to be getting the running animations so just search for run find any run animation you want to use hit in place hit download and download again anyway you want to cut these animations and paste them in the mixamo converter folder and you want to put them in the incoming fbx folder and not the outgoing next open the exe file and you need to just hit the mouse button randomly a few times in the middle until it opens like 
step one it shows you that you need to get the modified skeleton upload it to mixamo and all of that good stuff and step two you should put your stuff in the incoming folder so if you're all ready you just need to hit the convert button and then click on the folder outgoing fbx and there your converted animations should be you just need to import them into unreal engine now so next just drag them and drop them into the content browser and there are some instructions that you need to follow so click on step three and there should be the instructions so these are what you should do to import it and this is horribly designed because you actually cannot drag the window away from the engine so you need to put your engine on the second monitor before you actually drag it in so anyway just go and do the same thing as the picture choose the unreal engine 4 skeleton and then hit check these things that are um, selected with red or highlighted with red squares and you want to make sure it's exactly the same i did make a mistake here which is i actually changed the import translation to minus nine which is what i usually do with this converter but apparently they fixed it because making doing this actually synced my character's feet into the ground so you do not need to mess with the translation anymore i think so as you can see i'm actually doing the same as the picture and i just keep forgetting those i'm, I'm not really the best with remembering stuff like this so yeah i just copy them every single time i know i look stupid and i sound stupid but yeah who cares anyway once you are done you just need to hit import all and the animations should actually be there imported and converted and they work flawlessly with the unreal engine 4 mannequin which is amazing but epic games actually had to change it and create a brand new skeleton for unreal engine 5 which is like very similar but it does have some issues with these animations so we are going to be retargeting those to the unreal engine 5 mannequin as well but they will not work the same so first i moved them to the unreal engine 4 mannequin animations folder and then what we are going to do is we are going to go to the rigs folder inside of it and go to unreal engine 4 to, to ue5 retarget manager and this here is a nice little feature that shows you a comparison of the animations you can see that they work almost the same however we do have a few issues with the fingers as well as the arms but we are going to be ignoring them because it looks almost the same and you know he has weird fingers but we're just going to ignore it because these animations, you know, you just don't want to release a game with them. Please believe me. Now, if you uncheck retarget IK, it should actually make it a little bit more identical to the one that's the default one. But this one, the idol, it just looks weird with the arms because they are too close to the body and it doesn't look good with this mannequin. So, yeah, just ignore it and select the animations you want to export and hit the export button which is the green save um, floppy disk thing and um, yeah the animations should be in one of the folders so go to the many folder in the animations folder in the new mannequins and go to the blend space and we are going to be replacing all of those animations and we want to start with the second one and not the first one right click on it and replace the walking with the new walking animation and the first one just ignore it and um, you can view your animation or preview your animation that's currently playing near where you are located by pressing the control button so yeah just do the same for the running so right click and replace it with the brand new running animation and i think you should be good to go so we are gonna go next to the animation blueprint in order to replace the idle animation we want to go to the anim graph in the anim bp and uh, go to locomotion just keep hitting on it until you reach this part and then replace this one with the new idle animation and um, just drag it in there and connect it instead of it hit compile and you should be getting the brand new idle animation so if you hit play you can see that idle run actually work 
and the walking animation is in between so you cannot really see it. So if you want to preview it even more, you can actually drag in the animations themselves. So over here, I drag the running animation as well as the default running animation that came with the engine. And you can see the difference. Of course, the one that came with the engine actually looks better. But um, yeah, this is still useful for other kinds of stuff that you want to do. And I would really recommend using it with the UE4 mannequin instead of the UE5 mannequin if you're still using that. I actually am still using that because um, my project was built like slightly before the UE5.0 came out. So I'm still using the UE4 mannequin as well as, you know, most of the animation packs actually have that one. So yeah, they do not support the UE5 skeleton and I'm not sure why they even changed it but yeah each to their own anyway guys i really hope this was useful if it has been please hit the like button and subscribe if you are new to the channel and um thanks to my precious patrons for supporting the channel supporting me always thank you very much i love you guys very much and i'll see you in the next video guys take care have a great day and bye